welcome back everybody. Today we're reviewing the Skyloon SK96. This is a mechanical keyboard by Skyloon. The options that we got were with the red switches. These are Gateron G Pro switches. Looking around the box, it is a fairly simple box design. Here you can see a bit of the specifications. For the keycaps, we got the Coral C design. Taking a look into the box, we can see that we are greeted with the keyboard in a plastic sleeve, as well as the instruction manual. This is very well laid out. It is a full-size compact keyboard. The instruction manual does a really good job of laying out everything and is fairly detailed. On the back is just another language. So taking a look at the accessories, we have a few good things. Here we have some accent keycaps, and these are a bit pink, and I feel that they look really nice. They could definitely complement this keyboard very nicely. The keycaps that are stock are the Coral C color, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a whale design on the keycap with blue and gray accents. On top of that, we get some extra Gateron red switches. Now these are pretty good switches. They're great budget switches, they feel good, and they sound good. This is a fully hot swap keyboard, so it is really nice because you can use your own switches. On top of this, you just get some regular keycaps in case you just want to keep that white and gray look. You are more than allowed to do that. Here you have your switch puller as well as keycap puller. These are going to be really important things in case you want to customize your keyboard. They also include some extra screws and gaskets. And this is a really nice braided USB-C cable for the keyboard. The actual keyboard is not super heavy, but it does pack a lot. It has a plastic case that is enclosed in, and it feels fairly sturdy. Now this is a quick sound test. Now, taking a look underneath the spacebar keycap, we can see that this is actually their in-house switch. On top of having the Gateron switch, this is a Skyloon switch. The stabs are also pre-looped, which is an extremely nice thing. The Gateron switches are 3-pin, while the Skyloon are 5-pin. This is a fully hot swap PCB, so that means that you have 5 pins. It is a really great thing. The Skyloon switches sound really good. These are actually pre-looped and the Gateron switches also sound really good. The spacebar is a very nice thick plastic. This is a PBT keycap with a fairly nice design. This design will definitely appease some people and maybe some people may not like it, but you do have some extra spacebars. Again, this is another sound test.
now we'll be taking a deeper look into the keyword. So taking off all the keycaps, we see that we have some Skyloon switches as well as some Gateron switches. The Skyloon switches are mostly used with the stabs, and this is probably to give you a better experience. It's a really nice touch, and it really adds to a very custom keyboard kind of vibe. On top of having a full hot swap, this just really ups the value for the keyboard. All of the stabilizers are pre-lubed, which is an extremely nice thing. They do a very decent job with the lubing, and it really adds to the experience. The switches sit on a steel plate, so it does provide you with a firm typing experience. You also have a bit of foam, which is a great thing for dampening. The plastic case, it is pretty simple and does the job well. This is silicone dampening and it works to help with the sounds of the keyboard and really adds to the value of this keyboard. The PCB is fairly nice and as you can see, you have real hot swap sockets. And your steel plate is fairly hefty. It feels good and it makes the keyboard sound fairly good. It provides a very stiff typing experience, so that may be something that you may want to look out for if that is not something for you. Putting back this keyboard, we can see that we have a few different screws that we're going to have to put in. And one of the things that you do have to remember is that this is technically a light gasket mounted keyboard because of the fact that there are some little gaskets on each screw. This doesn't necessarily lie directly on the plate. Instead, you have a little bit of a cushion with that plastic gasket. Putting everything back together now, we can see that it wasn't too difficult to take apart. This was definitely one of the easier keyboards to take apart, and it was very rewarding to see what's inside. This keyboard does pack a lot, and it is a fairly good value keyboard. But again, this is coming in at around 90 US dollars, so you definitely do expect a little bit, but it definitely delivers. Now we are going to see the inside of a Skyloon switch. So this is the pre-lube job that they've done. Their lube seems to be a yellow consistency and you can see a little tint on it on the switch. The factory lubing job is not the best, but it's not awful either. For what it is, it does a really good job, but I think that we can do better. We have some Crytox 205 grade zero and we are applying some to the Skyloon switch. This is going to, to give it a better consistency and hopefully a better sound. Crytox 205 Grade Zero is the industry standard in the custom keyboard space. It is a great lube and it is generally all purpose. Now we're going to put back everything. You want to make sure that your switch clicks when you assemble it all, and then we'll hear a quick sound test. Now, I personally feel that that spacebar sounded really good. Overall, this keyboard is definitely a really great keyboard for the price. Coming in at around $90, you get a good amount of things. On top of being a light gasket mounted keyboard, this is a wired keyboard, which also has full RGB, which is a really nice thing. This has Gatoron G Pro red switches, which sound great and have a good reputation behind them. With double shot PBT keycaps, these will last a good amount of time and it, they sound really good. Now the silicone integrated cushion is to help reduce noise and it really does a good job as well as the light gasket mount. 
So it is a bit softer than something that you would expect otherwise. The materials found in this keyboard are fairly nice and the software does a good job of controlling everything. On top of having true RGB light, you have true hot swap, PBT keycaps, a gasket mount, and a 96% compact layout. Now, many people will argue that gasket mounted things are much better, and I have to agree. Not only does it give you a little bit of a softer typing experience that absorbs a bit more, but it generally tends to sound better. This keyboard is a fairly compact and really good option, and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a great full-sized keyboard. I personally think that it's a really good value, and I would definitely recommend it, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Consider subscribing and please leave a like if possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys did like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you. Mm -hmm.